कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग इज वन ऑफ द अमेजिंग फीचर्स ऑफ एक्सेल आई कॉल इट मैजिक ऑफ एक्सेल इफ यू आर यूजिंग एक्सेल एंड नॉट यूजिंग कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग बिलीव मी यू आर मिसिंग लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इन केस यू आर यूजिंग कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग बट स्टिल नॉट अवेयर ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट विद दिस वीडियो यू विल बी अ मास्टर ऑफ कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग आई कवर दिस वीडियो इन टू पार्ट पार्ट वन विल बी बेसिक्स ऑफ कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग एंड पार्ट टू विल बी एडवांस्ड कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग सो टूडे वी विल सी पार्ट वन दैट विल बी बेसिक कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग हाई माई नेम इज विजय एंड यू आर वॉचिंग ऑफिस मॉम लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो विदाउट एनी डिले दिस इज अव शीट ऑन द टॉप वी हैव गॉट मेनी टैब्स लाइक होम इंसर्ट ड्रॉ पेज ले आउट एंड सो ऑन कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग इज इन होम टैब सो आई क्लिक ऑन होम विल कम इन द सेंटर here we get the option of conditional formatting i'll click on drop down there are many things i'll go on top over here we get to see highlight cell rules we have got many rules over here like greater than less than between equal to text that contains data occurring so we will start with equal to i'll click on equal to a small window popped up new formatting rules only format cells that contain cell value equal to and over here we have got a blank box i'll click on the box and we'll type a name i'll type office we can see red color over here in excel this color is by default so i'll leave this color and we'll click on okay nothing is highlighted in the very beginning i had clicked on a means first cell a1 i'll type office over here and i'll press enter the word office or the term office got highlighted in red what will happen if i type monk over here nothing is highlighted what will happen if i type office over here it's not highlighted because i had applied conditional formatting only in this cell i'll delete this and will type office once again enter and it got highlighted in red again over here i'll type two more names monk and vijay enter i want to highlight the word office in red monk in green and my name in yellow earlier i had selected just one cell this time i am going to select all three cells which contains my name i will go to home will come in the center conditional formatting will click on the drop down highlight cell rule equal to will take this to right cell value equal to and over here i'll type office just before the red color we have got drop down by default excel provides three colors light red fill with dark green text second is yellow fill with dark yellow text and third is green fill with dark green text so i'll click on dark red fill with dark red text and we'll do okay the word office got highlighted in red we'll go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule equal to and this time i'll type monk we'll click on drop down we'll take this to right we'll click on drop down i have to highlight the word monk in green so i'll select green fill with dark green text and we'll do okay just notice over here the word monk got highlighted in green i will go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule equal to we'll take this to right we'll click over here and this time i'll type vijay we'll click on drop down and we'll select yellow fill with dark yellow text and we'll click on okay all the three words got highlighted in different color what will happen if i change the sequence if i'll type vijay on top after that i'll type office and i'll type monk now just see all the colors got changed automatically what will happen if i'll type vijay in all three cells just see in all the three cells i have got yellow in the same way if i'll type monk monk and monk over here it got highlighted in green now what will happen if i'll type all the three names over here office monk vijay enter it haven't got highlighted to make the whole sheet dynamic I'll select the whole sheet. I may press Control A or Command A, and whole sheet will be selected. Or I can click over here in the corner. Now I'll go to Home, 
conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to and i'll type office we'll click on drop down and we'll select light red fill with dark red text and we'll do okay we'll go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule equal to and this time i'll type monk we'll click on drop down and we'll select green fill with dark green text and we'll do okay we'll go to conditional formatting for the third time highlight cell rule equal to and i'll type vijay we'll click on drop down and we'll select yellow fill with dark yellow text and we'll do okay now see the magic i can type my name anywhere in the sheet and it will be automatically highlighted monk enter office enter vijay enter just see cells are getting highlighted in the whole sheet one more thing your text or font may be in upper case or lower case in all the cases conditional formatting is going to do its work means it will highlight the cells i'll type vijay enter it got highlighted vijay it got highlighted vijay it got highlighted let's insert a new sheet and see other conditional formatting let me click over here in the center we'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to over here we have got cell value and we can see equal to i'll click on drop down in the drop down i can see between not between equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to so we can also select our rules from here as i have already covered equal to i'll close this we'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules greater than greater than means we will have to insert numbers over here or digits over here so greater than i'll type 5 we'll click on drop down this time i'm not going to select all these three colors i'll go to customized format a new window will open over here on top we get four options number font border and fill we will go to fill background color from here we can select the color of our choice i'll click on drop down and we'll select any color of my choice i'll select blue color now i'll go to font over here we get to see font style font underline strike through color in color we can see automatic so whenever you have to change the text color click over here on automatic all the colors will be visible i'll select white color and we'll do okay this is the preview of your cell color and your text color now i'll do okay so nothing got highlighted i'll type 5 over here enter nothing is highlighted let me take this in center now i'll type 6 enter and the number 6 got highlighted in blue i will drag this down and will create borders to know where i have inserted my conditional formatting let me delete all the numbers from here all the colors got vanished i'll type 1 2 enter i'll select both the numbers and will drag it down and just see the numbers which are greater than 5 got highlighted in blue this time i'll select all the numbers from top to bottom we'll go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rule and this time i'll select less than cell value less than and over here i'll type 5 earlier we had seen greater than 5 this time we will see less than 5 i will click on drop down customize format fill we'll click on drop down and we'll select red color this color is of cell means this will be cell color we'll go to font color we can see automatic i'll click on drop down and we'll select white and we'll do okay okay so all the numbers less than 5 got highlighted in red and all the numbers greater than 5 got highlighted in blue now what about 5 let's select this once again we'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule in numbers we have covered greater than and less than we have also covered equal to but we have covered equal to in text this time we will cover equal to in numbers so i'll select equal to and i'll type 5 we'll click on drop down customize format we'll go to fill background color i'll select a desired color font 
font color I'll select as yellow and we'll click on OK. OK, just see the number 5 got highlighted in different color. Let's delete all the numbers from here. Now I'll put some random numbers. Just see, in different cells we have got different colors. If I'll type 5 everywhere, we got the same color. I'll click over here, we'll type 1, 2, we'll click on top and we'll take all the things in center. We'll select both the numbers and we'll drag it down. We'll leave it selected, we'll create borders. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule. So we had covered greater than, less than and equal to. This time we will cover between. Earlier we had just one box for the entry, this time we have got two boxes. As we are going to format the cell value between and when it will be between, we will have to provide range, starting point and end point. So starting point I'll take as 50 and end point I'll take as 300. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill, I'll select a desired color and we'll change the font color. Whatever color you want to select, you can. Now I'll click on OK. OK. None of the numbers are highlighted because we had taken our range from 50 to 300. I'll delete all the numbers from here. We'll type 51. The cell got highlighted. I'll type 50. It got highlighted. I'll type 49. Nothing is highlighted. 299. 300. 350. 200, 150 and just notice the numbers which are between 50 and 300 are getting highlighted. The numbers below 50 and above 300 are not getting highlighted. Even the number 301 will not be highlighted and even 49 haven't got highlighted. So we have covered greater than, less than, between and equal to. In equal to one more thing is there. I'll take some random figures over here, 50, 150, we'll select both and we'll drag it down. So we got all the random figures. I'll copy 50 from here, Control C or Command C and we'll paste in some cells. Now I'll select from top to bottom, we'll go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rule, we'll go to Equal to, Cell Value Equal to, I'll click on drop down. And this time I'll select not equal to and I'll type 50 over here and the cells which will be equal to 50 will not be highlighted. We'll click on drop down, customized format, fill, we'll click over here and we'll select a desired color, font, we'll do font color as white and we'll click on OK. OK. So just notice the numbers which are equal to 50 are not highlighted and the numbers which are not equal to 50 got highlighted. I'll click over here and we'll put some random figures. I'll repeat those figures. Now I'll select this from top to bottom. We'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule. We'll go to equal to. We'll click on drop down. We had seen between, not between. So not between will work in the same way as not equal to work. We had seen greater than, less than. Over here we can see greater than or equal to. I'll click over here. Greater than or equal to. I'll type 50. We'll click on drop down, customize format. We are able to see fonts because this is the last window or this is the last command what we had used. Now we will go to fill. We'll click on drop down and we'll select a desired color. I'm not going to change font color this time. I'll just do OK. OK. So the numbers which are equal to 50 or greater than 50 got highlighted. Let's take this closer. I'll click over here. We'll select till end. We'll go to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule equal to. I'll click on drop down. So we had seen between, not between, equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to in the same way how greater than or equal to worked less than or equal to is going to work in the same way means we have covered all these things over here 
I'll cancel this. We'll go to conditional formatting once again. Highlight cell rule. And this time I'll go to text that contains. Text that contains means if you want to highlight your cell as per the specific text, you can highlight that. Earlier in the very first example, I had highlighted my name. And to highlight my name, I typed my total name as Vijay. This time I'm going to type only V and not my full name. We'll click on drop down, customize format. I'll come to font and we'll change the font color. This time I'm not going to change the cell color. I'll just change font color. I'll select red color and we'll do OK. OK. So as per condition, the word which will have letter V, it will be highlighted. I'll type Vijay over here. It got highlighted. I'll type Victory over here. It got highlighted. I will type Pan. It's getting highlighted because I had given the criteria of V only. Means the text which will have V will be highlighted. Let me type TV over here. Enter. It got highlighted. If I'll type Bottle over here, it's not getting highlighted. But what will happen if I type V just after bottle, enter, it got highlighted. Let's see another example. I'll take this closer. We'll click over here and we'll select till end. We'll go to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule. This time we will see date occurring. By default, we can see study. If I'll click on drop down, we can see study today, tomorrow, last seven days, last week, next week last month, this month and next month. So let's highlight study first. We'll leave red color and we'll do OK. I'll type today's date plus or equal to today bracket open bracket close and I'll hit enter. This is today's date. I'll drag it down. We'll go to formula bar and we'll do minus one enter. So over here we got today's date that is 6th of October. It got highlighted. Now I'll drag this down. Now I'll click over here, we'll go to formula bar and we'll do plus one, enter. So this is today's date, this is today's date and this will be tomorrow's date. I'll select this from top to bottom, we'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, date occurring and this time I'll select today. We'll click on drop down and we'll select yellow color and we'll do OK. Just see, today's date got highlighted, when the date will change, it will be automatically highlighted in red. I'll select this once again. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rule. Date occurring and I'll select tomorrow. We'll select a different color and we'll do OK. So just see, all the dates got highlighted and once the date will change, all the colors will change automatically. Let's see some more examples. I'll select this. We'll go to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule and this time I'll select duplicate values and I'll click on OK. I'll type 50 over here. Nothing got highlighted. Again, I'll type 50 over here. Just see, both the numbers got highlighted. If I'll type 51 over here, nothing is highlighted. 52, mm -hmm, nothing got highlighted. 51, it got highlighted. 50, both the 50s got highlighted. 67, 89, 98, 67. Just see, all the duplicate numbers are getting highlighted. Let's see another example. I'll select this from top to bottom. We'll go to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule. I'll click on duplicate values. Now I'll click on drop down and just see over here we get two options. Duplicate and unique. I'll click on unique. We'll change the color. We'll do as yellow and we'll click on OK. Let's put same numbers over here. And just see, this time duplicate values are not highlighted. Only unique numbers got highlighted. So I think we have covered most of the things today. In next video, we will cover top or bottom rules, data bars, color scales, icon sets. And I think I'll have to make three parts of this video. In the third part, I'll cover formulas. You can use these tricks of conditional formatting in your formats. And believe me, your Excel formats are going to change because of conditional formatting. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.